Let's talk moisture control in the greenhouse. Uh, I'm pretty proud of my design. Uh, it gets awfully warm in here. The five layer polycarbonate roof and all of the windows certainly let in a lot of heat. Right now it's in about 72 degrees, 74 degrees, something like that. It's only in the low 40s outside. Uh, the other day it was over 100 in here. Uh, but when I come in in the evening, it feels incredibly humid. I can see the moisture dripping down the windows as it's much cooler outside, and that's potentially a big problem for the health of my plants. So I'm gonna try two different things, and as always, I don't know if they're gonna work. First, I installed a bunch of plugs up there, which are going to eventually be for my LED lights in the shoulder seasons, and I wired them to all be controlled with this switch here. So what I did was I hung two box fans just by a piece of string that are plugged in there. And the reason that I did that is if you look at the fans, they seem to naturally oscillate. Both of them are moving around, naturally oscillating. And the question that I have is, is that better than having a fixed stationary fan? And I simply don't know the answer. Here the fan comes back. I'm guessing that the oscillating fan is better, but I don't know. So I'm gonna have to experiment with that. The other thing that I did is I found this fan in my shop. It was just brand new, never used. It's a temperature controlled attic fan. Uh, I had to play with it to figure out how to wire it. I'm not an electrician um, and I wired it wrong at first, but I figured it out. And um, I got it right now set at 90 and I've tested it and it comes on uh, as appropriate and shuts off. But I fixed it there and I don't know if that's a good idea. It really blows really hard. Um, though all the plants in the greenhouse move around a lot. But I don't know if that's in the right position or if that's going to help. Uh, I do have two opening windows there. And then, then I have, if you go around, I won't go too fast, it's dizzying. One on the other side, as well as an opening door there. So I may have to adjust the location of that fan, but having a tan fan that comes on based on the temperature, I think is a great idea. And I will have to play with that. That's mostly for ventilation, I think. Uh, for moisture control, I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. Uh, I'm going to make one of these. So I just took a regular five gallon bucket here, drilled a hole and a couple holes in it with a hole saw, got a much smaller bucket, drilled some corresponding holes, some, I put some drain holes in the bottom and ran a piece of old conduit through it and I filled it with ice melt. The reason I did that is, is because if you look at the ingredients here, the second ingredient is calcium chloride and I know that calcium chloride can be a good desiccant. So what I don't know is whether ice melt is a good choice in a greenhouse because the first ingredient is sodium chloride and I don't know if I should stick with something that's more pure calcium chloride. I don't know if this is going to be enough to absorb moisture. I don't know if it's going to be enough to make a difference. I don't know that this is going to work at all. I do know that this setup with calcium chloride can be a very effective desiccant. So I'm going to leave this in my greenhouse for a few days and I'm going to see if this stuff will absorb water and drain out through the bottom into the five gallon bucket and see how this greenhouse feels in the evening now with some additional fans going which are easy to turn on. Before I just had them plugged in and they were just propped up there and I think it was just terrible. So the fact that I can turn them on and off at will now and they'll oscillate may or may not make a big difference um, and we'll try this. So as always, this is just me trying to figure things out, not having done this before, not having grown in this particular greenhouse and not having had a greenhouse in Alaska and trying to solve problems the best that I can. I do have all of my plants now staked and I think this is gonna work well. Well, you can see here, I got my tomatillo staked and staked and you can see there's a flower already. So we'll see. Um, Stand by and I'll let you know when I know.